Hello everyone, I hope you're having a blessed day. Today I'm coming to you with my K-12 review for the kindergarten program. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, this week was our first day of community day. Um, for the location that I go to, it is only once a month, depending on uh, once they change it, then it's supposed to be, it was supposed to be every um, Tuesday of the week. So, but for right now, just because of the amount, I guess, of the amount of people that is able to be there in my location or where I'm at in my area, it's not really that many people so for right now it's only going to be once a month um, I'm just going to go ahead and just talk about how it went and everything um, they had it broken up um, from K through 8th grade in one room and then high school kids were in another room so kindergarten to 8th grade were all in the same room and they were all doing the exact same thing which was one of the assignments that they had was um, talking about the different seasons and why they like each season and you know the reason why they like each season um, they did a 3d model which had to stand up by using marshmallows and um, uh, what was it um, I can't even think marshmallows um, jelly beans and toothpicks and they had to make sure that the sculpture is a 3d sculpture and it had to stand up um, they also had to do a play which was the middle school kids um, the which is what is middle school sixth through eighth grade they read to the younger kids the K through sixth grade kids and then they had to do a play and act it out so each kid had their own role in the play and then they had to act it out in front of everyone um, what else did they do they had a pizza party and they had a raffle where if your name get picked from turning in your work samples because everybody had to turn in a work work sample from each subject and they put their name into the raffle and they could win a Jamba Juice gift card. Um, what else did they do? They had some other assignments that they worked on. Um, I cannot remember exactly what everything. I stayed in the room. Um, at my location, you have the option to stay in the room, you have the option to leave and then just come back or you can stay around the area. I decided to stay because I didn't feel comfortable leaving my son there. He's in kindergarten and even if he was in first grade, I probably would have stayed, or even second grade, because this is our first time. I wanted to have a feel for it and see how he liked it and see how my son reacted. He was very, you know, shy and scared at first, but then he kind of warmed up. Um, as far as the whole style, I know that it was like a smaller location. There's not that many people, but I just didn't like the fact that my son was in class with kids that was way older than him. I was hoping that it would be broken up to, you know, the younger kids. Maybe even the kindergartens the kindergartners together and the first grade and second graders together. You know, just so they would be more closer to age and then the assignments that they did would be more closer to what they would be doing normally. Instead of having middle school and elementary school kids, you know, doing it. Um, there were some kids that were very disruptive that was affecting the other kids, which I did not care about. I didn't really like. Um, it was hard for me to focus in the class because of the kids, the, um, the kids' um, issues running around the classroom, which I did not like at all, or screaming or leaving outside of the room or uh, just hit up against the wall, just all kinds of stuff that made me feel like, wow, I don't want to come back here. It was nothing against K-12, but it was the child the way he was acting. The teachers were good. I liked the teachers. I met the te one of the teachers before for the... Um, orientation. The other teacher I never met, but I liked her as well. Um, there was other parents in the room as well, and I just felt that uh, the kid should have been told more to sit down. They were, they told him, but I felt like his mother should have took more of initiative. But I'm not trying to talk about nobody's parenting styles, but it was just affecting the other kids, which it kind of made me not want to go back. But my son wanted to go back so we're going to give it another try and see how it goes it is mandatory i mean it's not mandatory you don't have to be there but i'm going to let my son go again because you know just so he can get to interact with other kids um and he seemed like he liked it first he said he didn't want to go then he said he wants to go again so i will see next month in november november 1st i think is the next one so i'll see how he feels then if we're going to go or not and i'll let you guys know if we win or not and why and if we did what happened if it was better this time so the next time so um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about what uh, we went over this week from home um, for math he went over just tracing or not tracing writing his numbers out 0 through 5 um, and what else did he do he also did learning how to count the sides of shapes knowing how many sides each shape has 
and knowing how many corners each shape has. Um, what else did you do? Um, size of shapes, writing out his numbers 0 through 5, and the corners of the different shapes. Um, for handwriting, he's still writing out, just practicing his handwriting and writing out his numbers, I mean his letters. Um, for language arts, um, he's still learning about the different family dynamics like your grandmother, your grandfather, your aunts, your uncles, your cousins, your brothers and sisters, and knowing my aunt, if my aunt and uncle had two kids, who would they be called? They would be called your cousins, or my grand, my parents, father and mother is your grandparents, your grandfather and your grandmother, and things like that. He learned the different ways that you can call your mom, mom or mother, um, father, papa, or pop, or um, your aunts and uncles, your cousins. Um, he learned about different uh, ways of, of your buddies, your pal, your friends. Um, learning how the different words of what share means and play and different things like that. He learned about. Um, let's see. For language arts and literature. Um, we talked about um, different castles and uh, the reason why they were made the way they were because back in the day there were a lot of fighting so they made the castles a certain ways to keep people out from you know coming trying to hurt them and they had like a moat which is like a little water stream around the whole castle and in order for somebody to get inside the castle they had to pull down a drawbridge so they talked about that different things that dun dungeons where people that were bad were put into and just different areas of where the different people lived. Um, what else? Um, they did that introduction to learning about castles and then they kind of did it like an explorer just more and more and just like a review of it. Um, also read a uh, poem to him called The Secret Place and it was about a kid who would, I think he was under his bed and how he would draw pictures and stuff on his bed sheet and how he got in trouble by his mom and Ask him different questions of you should not do that you should not write on your you know your um, bed sheets and how his mom was upset and why she was upset it was just like a little short little poem about the secret place where this kid will go and draw all these cool pictures on his bed sheet um let's see for phonics language arts and phonics he went over the sh sound the sh sound the aw sound aw sound and the call like McCall sound or KW or the AW sound um, and also listen to the Cinderella story um, let's see for science he learned about the different areas of the tooth like the crown the root and the, the crown the root and the neck of the tooth different areas of the tooth and he heard a story about a, a tooth, about a, a girl tooth, and a story about how her next tooth next to her disappeared and was gone, and um, just a story of her life and how she was, how she grew, you know, how she came out of the kid's mouth and how she was put under a pillow. It was just a cute little story, and he had to tell, why do you, you know, what, what do you think happened to her after she was put under the pillow? It was a really, really cute story. Um, what else? He also talked about for science the different things uh, that was alive like non-living things and living things like um, what's an example of something that is living it has to have be able you know to have air water and food and it grows you know it moves that's a sign that it is living and something like a pencil is not living because it does not need food it doesn't need air it doesn't need water um, it doesn't move it doesn't grow so just knowing make sure that he asks asking him the difference between what's living and what's not living. History, he learned about um, Germany and Ireland and he colored both of Germany and Ireland's um, flags um, and just different things about Ireland and Germany. About, he learned about leprechauns and how they're not real and the different folk tales that people would tell. Um, let's see what else. I think that is about it. Yeah, I think that is about it. We also um, talked about the Brothers Grimm, which were these two brothers who would uh, read um, stories, tales, and stuff all the time, and that's what you know they love to do. And they different, and they talked about the different stories that related to the Brothers Grimm, like Cinderella and Sleeping Beauty and Hansel and Gretel, Red Little Red Riding Hood, stuff like that. And 
that is about it. That is pretty much it. Um, he did do some art where he had to color, you know, not art, use paint and draw some different um, paintings with different, using different colors. He learned about artists that use different types of colors and just a description of the different types of artists and their, and their paintings that they did. Um, that is about it. I think that is about it. Hopefully that was just the gist of everything. Hopefully I wasn't talking too fast and hopefully it made sense. And um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave them down below. And if you're in the K-12 program, let me know which one you're involved in, wherever you are, and how do you like it, what grade your kid is. I'd just like to learn about other kids. And if you do K-12 reviews, I would like to hear as well. So if you have a <laughs> I hope you have a blessed day. Take care. God bless you. Bye-bye.